When I was last here, I was trying 40 meters, trying to load up this goalpost as an antenna. For those not familiar with our brand of footy, it's about seven meters tall. I was using a Roland ring, a spile of wire loaded up with a variable capacitor in series so I could get it to radiate as an antenna. How well did it work? The contacts I got were pretty marginal. I could get my call sign across, but the stations I worked struggled with me. I've tried RISPA from home, and I'll show you the reports later on. And now I'm here to repeat the experiment from this park with the Roland ring antenna. The results will almost certainly be worse. After all, this seven metre pole isn't even a quarter wavelength on seven megahertz. My guess is around 15 dB. You'll find out later how accurate that is or not when I compare the risk results from my transmitting here with those when transmitting from home. The only band I can load up the taller post is 7 megahertz. I'll now try the smaller pole and see what results I get on 7 and any other bands that I can load up. The SWR was very high on 30 metres and somewhat high on 20 metres. I've moved the ring about a metre up the pole and seem to be getting it to tune up much better on 20 metres. That same position is not so good on 40 metres, but strangely where it is best, the position of the tuning capacitor is about the same, around halfway. I'm getting a pretty good number of spots around VK and ZL. The signal strength seem to be a little bit down, so I'll put the results in a spreadsheet, average them and give you some numbers in a moment. I didn't end up using a spreadsheet, I just used a piece of paper. There are quite a few stations, particularly more distant, that could hear me while at home, but not when portable, using the Roland ring. You can see the call signs VK4, VK6 and ZL. Moving up the list, I start to get some spots where I am picked up while portable. When you compare the signal strengths, most of the time the portable setup was not as good as at home. But there were some exceptions. Two VK1s spaced at around 460 kilometers from here received me at similar strength whether I was home or portable. And then there is VK7JJ. 390 kilometers away actually got some spots of me stronger whilst I was portable than at home. So for that very narrow range of distances from 390 to 460 kilometers the portable setup was working very well, but otherwise the home setup with a full-sized antenna was better. You'd have to do this over a longer period to get it to be really statistically valid. But it does give a rough guide 